afternoon all for my latest installment of movie memories I think I'd like to talk about um, John Singleton's John um, Singleton's um, Higher Learning uh, this was a movie that um, typically I don't usually check out because I like to think of <clears throat> movies um, much like I think of um, comics as pretty much being an escapist medium. Um, so I very I very seldom go to a go to a go to a theater to check out um, um, a movie because of any kind of message or anything. But the advertisement, the advertising for higher learning seemed to be a little bit avant-garde and so it kind of caught me off guard and made me want to look further into it. So when I go in to check the movie out, it's um, very stylized. Um, with a bunch of shots done in such a way that they reminded me a little bit of um, Quentin Tarantino's way of doing movies in as much as you have all these little stories, all these little vignettes that kind of crisscross each other and um, sort of form I guess you would say a cinematic tapestry um, that when it's all said and done the sums of the whole come together to make a very cohesive piece uh, now the movie has Omar Epps I didn't Google this, so I'm just um, recounting the actors that I remember. Omar Epps, um, Lawrence Fishburne, Kirstie Swanson, uh, Jennifer Connelly, Ice Cube, and um, Tyra Banks and Michael Rappaport. And these characters, along with others um, whose names I can't remember, just, you know, they brought it. They brought everything to this movie in terms of, in terms of heart, in terms of, um, in terms of story, in terms of craft. Um, higher learning was definitely something, uh, while it wouldn't end up probably on any top ten list of mine, because I do top ten lists that are basically um, um, coming from the entertainment front as opposed to the uh, um, learn something from front um, it was nonetheless a quality film and um, one of the things about the film that I would like to talk about that I think a number of other people that I've checked out um, have kind of misrepresented is the character of Michael Rappaport. Um, first of all, higher learning is set like on a college campus and whatnot. And most of the names outside of Lawrence Fishburne, um, all these actors are students going to this college. And Michael Rappaport, I believe, is mislabeled as being um, a bigot or a racist, his character that is. I think it's bit mislabeled as being a bigot or a racist or whatever because he ends up joining um, a neo-Nazi type faction um, that exists within the school as well. Now, the reason I feel that he's mislabeled as a racist or bigot is because what he actually was, in my view, 
um, was neither. What he was was a wannabe. Um, he, upon his first day in school, um, he finds out that his his roommate is um, Ice Cube, and uh, they don't hit it off because Ice Cube is kind of arguably what you would call a, a, a kind of a militant, almost um, Black Panther Party-ish kind of group. And um, he and Michael Rappaport's character just don't see eye to eye on anything. But anyway, Michael Rappaport had a hard time connecting with anybody. He wasn't going to fit in with the lesbian faction of the school. He wasn't going to fit in with these guys that were pretty much like Hare Krishnas. Um, he wasn't going to fit in with with um, Ice Cube's clique. Um, so, in essence, he's kind of in a quandary as far as, far as what to do. And then as he's either reading a book or tying his shoe or whatever, you hear a, you hear a voice coming from behind him basically saying um, something on, along the lines of, and I'm paraphrasing here, I see you've kind of lost your way, my friend. So um, maybe you need to um, get in with somebody that can show you the way to um, you know, um, make your college stay better. Or something to that effect, and then the camera pans behind him, and you see these um, um, almost like army boots. I think they were called brogans or something. And the camera pans up, and you see that the guy is like a, um, a skinhead or whatever, or what have you. And um, Michael Rappaport basically ends up joining him. Not because ideologically he was like them, but because he didn't have anyone to go to. So he figured, you know, these guys were, you know, as good as anything else to um, join up with. And that's pretty much why I felt that he was less a racist and more a wannabe. Um, and he gave... Um, um, a spectacular performance as did just about um, every actor but Michael Rappaport's character um, and Omar Epps character I believe they were the ones that stood out Lawrence Fishburne of course you know he's always going to do a good job and everybody on there you know did their thing but um, for anyone who has seen Higher Learning um, I'm curious as to hear what your ideas were on the film uh, it's one of the few John Singleton films um, that I've seen it may have been the only one I really have to think about that but anyway um, yeah if you've, if you've checked it out you know it doesn't have to be about you know what I was talking about just anything in the film that you were digging or something in the film that you weren't digging you know let me know Anyway, till next time, night out.